Hello everybody. How are you? I hope you're doing good. I really do. I'm pissed off. I really am. Extremely pissed. So if you got children, don't have them in a the room. Reason why is because I've been telling y'all and I've been called a fruit cake, a screwball, a dumbass, an idiot, a hillbilly, a fucking moron. I don't give it. You can name whatever the fuck you want to. And all the ones of you that said that to me, you owe me a fucking apology. That's straight up. You do. You know why you owe me an apology? Because it's a story out there that just come out that the Navy has got a secret program that is spying on civilians in several states. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Now, all the ones of you that told me that I was an idiot and crazy, you know, I'll give you ten minutes to draw yourself a crowd and you can kiss my ass. Mm-hmm. You can. You can kiss my ass. But you chicken shit, you ain't gonna do that. You're just gonna run your fucking mouth and think you know it all. Mm-hmm. That's what you're gonna do. That's straight up. The censorship is out there. It's been out there for years. When you start hearing about it on the internet, the only reason why you're hearing about it is because it's happening. I'll tell you one more time. That's because it's already happening. Do you see any documentation to it? No. Why? Because they don't want you to know. They don't want you to know. Oh, hell no. They don't want you to know what they doing to you. You know, they got some guy on child pornography. You know, what bothers me the most about that is, which is a good thing, okay, but I, I don't believe in none of that, but the problem of it is, is this, they're going after the person that's looking at it. What about the people that are putting it up? Hmm? Why do they allow those people to get away with putting that up? on the internet to start with. Can you explain that? Every website that you go, there's a forbidden website out there somewhere on the internet that has child pornography on it. It does. Totally legal. And they're getting away with it. But they want to put you in jail for watching it. Now, I, I don't condone it. Don't get me wrong. I ain't condoning it at all. I'm not. But why would they want to come after a civilian for doing something like that? When it ain't their fault to start with. They're not putting it up. They're just watching it. Nine times out of ten. And sometimes they don't know the difference. They don't. You can't tell some of them girls from others. Unless they're ten or five. Yeah, I can understand that. But still... How are they watching it if they're allowing it to be put up there to start with? I'll tell you why. You want to know why? Because they don't want those people because they put them out there. They just want to put the people out there that they see doing it. Watching it. Something that they're making popular to start with. That's why... They want y'all to be sick in the head. That's why. That's just straight up. They want you to be sick in the head and look at that shit. That's why they put that crazy shit on TV. That young girl cut all her hair off and then was bending over, acting like she was having sex on stage. 
y'all know who I'm talking about. It, it was a big joke, big deal. Yes, it was. Y'all all ate it up. You did. First off, the person that made the video is a sick bastard. That's straight up. And the son of a bitch should go to jail. But they're the ones that get away with it. They don't never go to jail. It's you for getting caught by looking at it. And don't even know that you're looking at it sometimes. That stuff pops up on your computer if you get a virus. Did you know that? Oh, yeah. You get the right virus, it'll just pop up on your computer. But how do we know that it wasn't a Navy institution that was secretly putting that shit on your computer to start with? Making it pop up. Gave you the virus. How do we know that? If they can do what they say that they can do already, what else can they do? You ever thought of it? I have. Yes, I have. And if they can do that, they can do any damn thing they want to. Unless your computer is disconnected from the internet. Mm-hmm. And folks, they have now digital ham radio. They do. They have digital radio. They have digital almost everything. Television. Now, you smart asses, the ones that, are, and I don't mean that disrespected, the ones of you that got some real serious brains, real technical about this, you need to make us a new internet. How, you asked. Hmm. Wireless. Digital. The internet is digital to start with. Everything is in digits make us a wireless internet so it'll take another 10 years before they can monitor it and do it before they do it so it don't come out that way to start with got me if some of you guys out there just smart as whips brainstormers do it do it now we need it tomorrow not next year tomorrow and make it free. Make it free. That's the way it should be to start with. That's the way it started. All you had to have was a dial up. That was free just about with some services. It could still be that way. And with digital airways, have a whole lot faster speed too. Mm hmm with no throttling Comcast AT&T and all the rest of you that got internet providers out there that are gotten legal to throttle internet services if you use over 300 gigs they gonna throttle you but that's bullshit that's in your block. If somebody uses over 300 meg or 300 gig in your neighborhood on your service, they cut you. everybody's down. Start throttling it. They do. Now there's something else I want to talk about. <sighs> Ebola. Sure do. I just seen a clip of a video come out in 1989. Mm -hmm. Military went into a building and killed 200 monkeys because they had an Ebola to break the strain. The only problem was that they had another room with 400 that pretty much there was 400 and something monkeys okay 
Well, the other monkeys got sick too. Well, the other one's been in quarantine. But they got sick through the air vents. They did. 1989. Some form of Ebola. And they say that this strain here is not airborne. But several times we've come out with the situation that it could be airborne. And you know what's bothering me the most? We got two doctors that come to the United States that we cured. Supposedly cured. But there's two or three hundred more that have died. Health care providers. How come they ain't getting the same treatment? How come the people over there aren't getting the same treatment? I'm just curious. They got something that works. Why ain't they giving it to all of those people? Why ain't they putting a stop to this? I'll tell you why. Who has the vaccine to start with? Who? Who's got the patent on it? Wasn't that uh, Bill Gates and a couple more of those rich bastards? Mm-hmm. Sure was. And they got a vaccine for it. They do. Sure do. But how many people does he want to be alive in the world? Because of CO2? It's destroying us. Something that we breathe in and out. Oxygen and exhale carbon dioxide. But yet, where the planet's overpopulated with people. They, it is. It, it really is. I mean, it is. You could take every person in the world and put it in Jacksonville, Florida with 25 billion square feet. You can. You can put every living person there in Jacksonville, Florida. Now, I'm not saying they all going to have houses and they can live together and all that. I ain't saying none of that. But you can put everybody on the planet in Jacksonville, Florida. I might be standing kind of close, but they'll be there. Do you get my point? Now, are we really overpopulated? Hmm. I don't think so. We were put on this earth to populate. They don't want the population to be that big because they can't control it no more. Do you get me? They can't control that many people. So they got to get rid of some of you, including me. But what they don't understand is it ought to be them that being get, gotten rid of. They're the sick bastards. They're mortally sick to even think about getting rid of people. They're sick. They're brain dead zombie motherfucking freaks. To even think something like that. Depopulate the planet just to suit them so they can control more of you? Really? Really, folks? Are you paying attention out there? I mean it. Are you paying attention? Now, I ain't telling y'all about this Ebola crap because I, I don't hardly even believe in it anymore. I, I don't. Until it gets too close to me, maybe I'll believe it then. But right now, I still just don't. I think it's pretty much junk. I think it's a lie. I think they just let people die because they want them to die. There's some sick bastards in this world. And them same sick bastards are running your country. And I'm not just talking about the U.S. I'm talking about all of you countries out there. If you can't understand me, I'm sorry for you. Get somebody to translate it for you. I'm being honest as hell. 
we got a sick we got a sick bunch of people running our world I mean sick these people don't have one iota of care of who you are not one and every time you see them on TV, oh, it's for the people. We're doing it for the people. We're going to give you health care. It's for the people that don't bullshit. Bullshit. That's just so they can monitor who, what, when, and where you are, what kind of disease you might have, and whether or not they're going to give you any kind of treatment to help you other than to give you a pill to put you to sleep. That's just straight up. Now, whether you like it, whether you don't, I don't care. And if you're all about Obamacare, jump on it, baby. Jump on it. Just jump on it. Ones that don't believe that you're going to get a chip in seven, uh, 2017, you just keep on believing it. Because it's coming. You might, even not, might not even know you're going to get it. Because what we see on television right now is microscopic little bitty things already. What about when it's just, what about when it's so little you can't even see it? And they can give it to you with a vaccine. And it's just in your body. Don't matter where. They can read your body and sign it. Yes, sir. Get me? Are you awake out there, folks? You think technology is bad now? Or is good for you? Wait till they really start using it. They ain't even started yet. They got technology that's 30 years in advance of what you know right now. That's just like the little screens, the little screen that you got on your computer, or I mean your telephone's gonna jump out at you. Uh, what was it? the spring of next year is what they said you think that's all they got your monitor is going to do that your TV is going to do that you ain't going to have a square box on your wall you're going to have this little bitty box set on a table that's on a, a wall behind you that lights up and it's going to be your television when you turn the button off it's going to look like a plain wall like there's nothing there but when you want to watch TV it's going to be there you remember the Hunger Games? You watched that movie? Just like that. Better quality, but just like that. You can bet on it. It's coming. All be 3D. Show sure is. It's going to be like sitting there touching them. Like you're sitting right across the room from them. Y'all all think this is crazy shit. Oh, you don't believe none of that. Really? Are you drinking fucking uh, Mark Dice's fucking Kool-Aid? I, I mean, really. All y'all want to see is bubble gum and popcorn and ch chicken shit fly around? I'm serious as hell. Y'all think it's bad now? It ain't even got clothes. They gonna be able to monitor you when you walk down the street from a hundred miles away. You ain't gonna know they're doing it. You just get a warrant in the mail to come to jail. Because you didn't do something they wanted. You said something they didn't like to your friend. Is that what you want? You know again. I sit here and I've talked and I've done made another damn video that's more than 15 minutes long and I didn't mean to. I only wanted this to be five minutes long, but I just can't do it. I try, folks. There's just so much shit going on I can't do it. If you don't like my videos, I don't blame you if you don't want to watch them because I get long-winded and I talk. But I got passion for my fucking freedom. And I ain't a damn soul out there that I see except for a couple of few that are doing a damn thing about it. Not a damn thing. All I can do is get in here and tell you exactly how I feel and what's going on. That's all I can do. I'm just a one-man army. It looks like and feels like. My Twitter got cut off, so I can't push nothing on Twitter. 
with six, almost almost 16,000 subscribers or followers. It's locked, blocked out. <clears throat> I just put something up on my page, on my website, and in this part right here, you're going to see a photo of it, of subscribing to the website. I got two websites. Well, there's actually three on my page. There's three websites. Tat, uh, Tattooed1009.com TatsRevolution.com Dutchhead slash Tattoo.com Which is Dutch Census page. All three pages y'all need to subscribe to in this box that you're seeing right now. Put your email in there so we can be in touch in case they turn off Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus on us and YouTube. The only way you're going to be able to get to us is through the emails until they cut them off. It's coming to that, folks. So, if you would, to keep this going, subscribe up to that. All you have to do is put your email in and sit. That's it. It's not used to give to nobody else and it ain't used for trying to find out who you are and where you are. I, I could care less. I ain't got time for that anyway. You'll have to go look for some of them scammers and whammers out there because I don't know none. I'm not one of them. From my cold dead hands, abolish corporate government. Please subscribe to my channel. Both channels. I've already lost 15 subscribers from me making the last video about that. I gained 30. I lost 15 of them. Much love to y'all. Y'all have a good day. And don't forget, from my cold dead hands, and I damn well mean it. Don't forget to follow Tattoo1009.com on Facebook and Twitter and YouTube and Dale Emotion and stumble upon please help spread the word by sharing our articles on your favorite social networks. Go to the links in the below section for updates every day. From my cold dead hands abolish the corporate